sweet friends and welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi i'm jamie today i'm coming at you with one of my favorite videos today and i haven't done it in a long time but we are going to do my favorite beauty essentials that i have to have in my daily routine and it's a must Please excuse Lily. She's one of my favorite things too. All right, sorry friends. All right, so let's start off with hair care. So one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things is taking care of my hair. And growing up in the salon, my mom has been a stylist since she was 13 years old. So she knows a little bit something about hair and she has taught me so much about taking care of my hair and I am so thankful for that. One thing I can tell you is I came out of the womb using Redken shampoo. It's just my favorite. I absolutely love it. I have cheated. I'm not gonna lie. But I have also found a new love of hair care line. So I will show, share that with you as well. But they go to with Redken is definitely Redken for his dismiss. So this stuff is amazing. It keeps my hair not hot mess express during Alabama's humidity and crazy weather that we have. So this is my fave go-to shampoo. And conditioners with Redken, I've been trying to kind of fill out a new um, conditioner with Redken, but I did find the volume called Volume Injection by Redken. Absolutely love it. It gives my hair so much volume and it gives it just really, it really helps with um, the dryness on the end. So I absolutely love it. Another fave with Redken is their Extreme line. Their Extreme line is so good, especially for bleached and colored hair. That's what it's made for. I do bleach my hair very often. You guys know that. I love my blonde hair, but here's the key in taking care of that bleached hair. Number one, most important, you need some type of deep conditioning on your hair. I used to be really, 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 really faithful with this, and I have not been as well um, that I used to be. We used to have, Redken had a protein treatment. That was my favorite. It was PBT. We were just talking about it today. I can remember the smell and how it made my hair feel. And I used to sleep in my deep conditioner. Let me just tell you, it is amazing to sleep in it. I know during the winter time, it's a little too cold for that, but I promise you, it is a game changer sleeping in your conditioner. My new favorite, I love Redken Mask. I do their Frisbee Snip Dismiss Mask, but this is the closest that I have found to PPT. Um, Redken Extreme Recovery, and it is fabulous. This treatment is the best and you can just use it in the shower and leave it in your hair. But I'm telling you, if you leave it on for longer than it says, it's amazing. Such a great treatment for the hair. All right. So my new love, you guys are Alurum shampoo. Okay. And conditioner and their purple shampoo. So this is Alurum. I was introduced to this when um, my boss, Corey, my girl, my bestest girl, um, introduced me to this. Um, shampooing hair, I know it works, and I know it works well in the hair. And so let me just tell you, Alurum is amazing. I use a moisturizing shampoo and conditioner, and then I use their purple shampoo. This stuff is awesome. It is smells delightful. It it lathers really well, even though you shouldn't always look for lathering. It's just a good, good shampoo line and good hair care treatment. I absolutely love Alora. These are the only three products that I've used in them and I love them. All right, so that is my shampoo and treatment line that I love to use. So let's go dry shampoo. So I have a confession, another one. We're gonna do lots of confessions today because I'm just gonna tell you how it is. I am a stickler with using good products. I feel like the the best products to use, I know they're expensive sometimes, but take care of your hair. But <laughs> my favorite dry shampoo ever is Suave. Yes, I said it, I said it. It is Suave. It is such an awesome dry shampoo. With blonde hair, it just does really good. Just use it on the roots. Just put your fingers through it and it's great. Let me just tell you my little quick tip with dry shampoo. I, if I get up in the morning 
my hair is just crazy crazy i have a tendency to want to put the dry shampoo in before i curl it but that is not what i do i brush through my hair i curl my hair fix it the way i'm going to and then i apply my dry shampoo that way you're not putting heat on top of that dry shampoo to really dry out your hair I'm telling you it's a game changer but i have a second favorite amika so i love amika's perk up it's a great um dry shampoo really 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 good root boost and gives that volume and i love it absolutely love it and oh my gosh how could i forget raken's dry shampoo is awesome too i don't have it with me i use it at the lake mom brought it to me because like i said we love we are redken snobs and we love our redken and i do love the dry shampoo all right so that is Hairspray, I always use Big Sexy. I don't have any with me. Hold on. Talk hairspray. So normally when I do the dry shampoo, I don't need a lot of hairspray and a lot of hold. If I'm going out, if Dave and I are going out on a date, or we are, and I need to get those little flyaways tamed, that you can see in some of my hair tutorials, those little flyaways, I do use Big Sexy hair. Love this stuff. It's great. It has, this is a very firm hold. One other um, hairspray that I love that I use at the salon is Paul Mitchell. Absolutely love it. All right, so that is shampoo, dry shampoo, and <clears throat> treatment, and of course, hairspray. Now let's talk what tools that I use to do my hair. So hair dryer, I just have a Conair, nothing fancy, nothing to write home about. It's not my favorite hair dryer, so I'm not going to show you my favorite because I don't have one. But I do absolutely love um, a, a stronger hair dryer. I feel like hair dryers are hair dryers. I mean, I'm sure the Dyson's are where it's at, but I'm not paying that much money for a hair dryer. I'm just going to be real. Okay, so when I'm doing my hair straight, love I the Lange La Volume. Love it. It is such a good tool. But let me just tell you this. All hair tools will damage your hair. Period. End of story. So, this has got a lot of heat. You cannot adjust the heat on this. But you can adjust how you use the tool. So, when I'm doing my hair, it is almost 85% dry before I use this. Maybe 80 then I go in, I section off the hair, and I take small sections at a time, roll, rolling it under, drying it under. Just be really careful with that top layer of your hair. You always want to be really careful with that so you protect that hair. So always use a heat protectant. Might need to show you that too. Guys, hold on. Heat protectant is a must on your hair, and I use Mizani. I love this heat protectant. It is awesome. Definitely my go-to. So here is the heat protectant I use to make sure you use a heat protectant. I need to do this more often as well so I don't break my hair. So take care of your hair. Make sure it's 80 to 85% already dry. And this sucker is an amazing tool. Love it, love it, love it. So normally I let my hair air dry at night. So when I get home from the gym at night, I wash my hair mostly, sometimes. We're not gonna talk about the frequency of how dirty it is today. Okay, we're not gonna talk about it. But I let my hair air dry at night. So I put it in a ponytail, and then right before bed, I will brush it out. Sometimes it is a damp before I go to bed. But I go to sleep with a little damp, and then I wake up in the morning, and it is crazy hair, let me tell you. So what I do, like I said, is I brush through it. I need to be putting my heat protectant on. And then I curl my hair. So you guys know my absolute, absolute favorite curling iron ever is the Hassan, Hassan curling iron. Yes, I lost my tip a long time ago. We're not talking about it. I was devastated when I broke it. Um my favorite curling iron. It is great. It's a one half inch. It is the best curling iron. I am old school all the way. I had the Leduo with Lange. I cannot do that to my hair because how short it is, my technique, how I need my curl to last, this is what I have to use. Let me just say this. It's 
takes a lot of practice to get the perfect curl for your hair. So um, I've talked to some friends. One of my friends had to return hers and she didn't like the way it looks. So that to me is your style of hair is what you like. So go with the products and tools that you like for yourself. We're not always going to like the same things, but I can give you my reviews and let you know how I feel about it. But that is my ultimate favorite curling iron. And I will leave these links in the bottom or in the description box. All right, friends, let's talk skincare. So you guys know that I talk a ton about skincare and makeup. This has been a new jam of mine. I just recently really got into skincare and really got into makeup. I am not, and I will tell you, I was never really a skincare and makeup girl. And when I was introduced to Frey, that was five years ago, fell in love with Frey skincare just when I started living my life fully and just taking care of myself and my body and my skin. Frey was just a beautiful line for me to start using for sweaty skin all natural products just gorgeous i will leave more info in the description box about how much i love these products but fray has really stopped the hands of time with my face and then i have a new product i cannot wait to share with you guys so i use the fray skincare line i use purify me i also use their i am soap it's delightful, but what I love about Pure Foamy, you've got to exfoliate your face. It has little beads and they're amazing and it's light exfoliation. It's just beautiful on the skin. So I use Pure Foamy and then what I normally do is I will do that and then I will use my new fave serum. Where is that? All right, look it. All right, so youth vitamin c vitamin e serum sorry guys is absolutely delightful i have seen a huge difference in my skin come on refocus there you go i've seen a huge change in my skin i've been using this for about a week and a half I love, love, love using vitamin C and E on my face. This is for all the things, and I'll put a little description of what this is used for, but it helps with the wrinkles, the dry skin, all the combination of things that are going on with my face, and this has been such a game changer. I started using it for just at night, finally read the instructions, because you know how you do, and I'm using it twice a day now. So in the morning, I exfoliate my face, I put my use serum on, then I will do protect me. So I am trying to use sunscreen every day. Love it. It is lightweight. It goes great with my Saint makeup. It's not heavy. You guys, such a beautiful product and I absolutely love it. So at night, same thing. I use my I am soap. Then I either do my exfoliation or I do not. Then what I do is I spray I am joy. This is such a beautiful product and it's just, it's got rose smell and it's just beautiful. I spray this on my face. Then I, I whip that or stuff. Then I put my, <laughs> then I put my serum on. Then I put some more. So I use Recover Me by Frey. Absolutely love it. Beautiful product. Like I said, I'll put more in the description box. I don't want to chatty chat chat till the cows come home. So I put that recover me on and then I am trying to be more consistent with using my Aunt I am oil. It is such a beautiful product. It goes so pretty on the face and I have dry patchy areas. There was always this myth that I, I thought that if my skin was oily, I didn't need to add moisturize or more oil to it. And that is completely wrong. So I am learning so much about skincare and my health from the inside out. And that is the beauty of getting healthy. You learn so much about yourself. So I end up with that at, that at night and love it. And then let me tell you what you do. When you're finished, you just rub it in your hands and your cuticles and make your hands all fabulous, okay? So that at least detox me. You guys, this is such a beautiful mask. Goes on fabulous. I use it a couple times a week. I've gotta be more consistent with that. But such a beautiful product. It has little grit in it and it just, it purifies the face so much and it detoxes all the pores and gook out of your face. Especially when you're working out all the time. 
I love this stuff. Do you see Lily? Isn't she adorbs? Look at that baby. I'm not gonna tell you what she's doing. She's got jazz a sock. She loves jazz a sock. She just feels a part of him, you know. All right, let's talk makeup. You guys know I love makeup. I bet you will never guess. Yes, guilty pleasure. Another favorite Diet Coke. Oh, Siri. Okay, so let's talk makeup. You guys know my love and passion for, get ready, are you ready? Saint 3D foundation. It is the best stuff ever. Okay, so it's a cream foundation. It does not settle in your fine lines and wrinkles. I love the product. It is for my daughter who has me and very poor skin right now it's so beautiful on her and it has such beautiful coverage for me just gives me that pretty glow and it doesn't settle in those gorgeous lines on my forehead because you know <laughs> aging well that's what I'm doing at aging well and it just gives the skin such a beautiful glow one compact makeup brush and you got your makeup on for the morning five minutes you know it might take a little bit longer but this stuff is beautiful it is awesome it's so easy to use and so much fun absolutely gorgeous makeup and my mom who is 73 years old uses it as well forgot to tell you guys that because i squirrel even in my videos but such a beautiful makeup line i am so thankful that i had the opportunity to try this makeup I was so scared at first, and then I absolutely fell in love with it. Because you know, we're creatures of habit, and we're so used to what we use. And switching was the best decision I ever made in becoming a saint artist. It has been such a fun, fun experience. All the women that I've met, all the people that I've got to just love on and share my story through a little thing called saint makeup. And I absolutely love it. If you'd like to be color matched, get a little a little little shameless plug right now let me know comment below makeup and i will color match you to your most perfect shades it is a gorgeous 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 makeup so all right there's that also another fave of mine and this is one of the things that i've had such a flipping hard time with is eyebrows okay guys i am hello i do not have any eyebrows so I had to create them and drawing them was not, not my cup of tea. You guys, I can't draw for nothing. Like I love to draw, I love art, but I can't draw my face. Explain that one. If you explain it to me, I just we need to talk about it because it's just great. But anyway, I love the eyebrow trio. I did not get the right shade, it's totally fine. I just add my Saint eyeshadow over top of it to darken it. But it comes with this little pod of your makeup for your eyebrows, your a little applicator sponge and this is my favorite part, guys. A stencil. Seriously. You guys, this is the best. I love it. And I hope that I can talk to Brow Trio and give you guys a code to use or something fun because I haven't reached out to them and I should have just to, you know, give you guys some kind of deal. But they always have a great deal on their website. So go check them out. But I'll leave the link below. But this stuff is awesome. And like I said, I didn't get the right color. So make sure when you look at the models, make sure it's what color eyebrows you like to have. Like mine was a little too blonde and so it kind of pulled a little orange. So, but loving the Brow Trio. All right, let's talk my lips all right so just recently got introduced to red aspen lip gloss you guys this stuff's fabulous can you see whoa there we go red aspen lip gloss you guys it is so pretty look at this oh yeah it's so pretty love 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 their lip gloss also for Merit Aspen that I haven't tried yet. Their eyelashes. I haven't tried them. I'm scared. Are you scared of eyelashes? I am. I don't want, you know, it's, just, it's one of those things. I love their nails as well. I just recently took uh, my set off. I'll show you a picture of them. Had to give my hands a break. I've been in such hmm, water for days and it's just. So I use Olive in June when I do my natural nails and I love it. All right, next up. Mascara, guys. 
Red Aspen Pump It Up Maggie Mascara is my absolute favorite. It is four in one, it conditions, it lengthens, it gives volume. It's all the things mascara can give, I'm just saying. But, absolutely love it. It is beautiful, it is a beautiful product. Um, you know, just, you know, I love, I love mascara. So pump it up Maggie mascara and last but not least, cause you can see how I kind of got a little crazy with my hands, but red Aspen, you guys, self tanner, mousse tanner is incredible. It goes on beautifully. It is not orange. Even though Dave called me an Oompa Loompa, we're not talking about that. I did my face. It got a little crazy because I put too much on, but that's okay. That's the beauty of Saint. We just blend and go. We blend and go. So, I love Red Aspen's um, tanning mousse. The kit that I bought was incredible. It comes with an exfoliate. Hold yeah. on. One day I'm going to get this right where I have everything out. And then you remember what products you use. I'm like, wait a minute. I know what else. Okay, so when I bought my red aspen mousse i bought the kit the big kit so glad that i did because the other things that come along with this set they're amazing and they last forever so first my absolute favorite so i don't have to use a body scrub all the time when i do myself tanner is the exfoliation mitt you guys come on with it and the scrubs makes life so simple i'm just saying so it comes with that <laughs> it also comes with of course the application glove and the face applicator glove i do not have it with me it's at the lake i can't believe i left it but it's just one of the things also the kaduku brush it um is helpful with your hands that i need to practice do you ever just wish you would practice more so you just get it right so you're not flashing your hands in your videos and going, ooh, look at those hands. Those, those are beautiful. So I love their little brush. It just gets in between those little patches, patches, you know, the creases of your hands, them things. And I absolutely love it. But my most favorite, absolute favorite part of this set from Red Aspen is their back applicator. You guys, David, poor David. He was like, do I really have to do your back again? I'm like, yes, honey, I need you. I need you, Dave. And so this sucker look is no more your back not having a good tan. My friend Kel even complimented me at the gym about how good my back look with my self tanner on. That's a win, my friends. That is a stinking win. All right, last but not least, as I look around and make sure that I've got everything that I need to chat with you about all the things i forgot all about how i comb out my hair guys i've been using a pick forever brushes were just so hard to use i have very fine but thick hair it was such a pain to comb out i was introduced to the wet brush you guys this thing is absolutely amazing it goes through my hair it doesn't rip it out and it's just a great brush so there you have it there you have it my friends short sweet to the point probably gonna be a hour and 20 minute video but that's okay I there you have it all the skincare health needs of this girl you got it because health is also in your skin hair all the things okay so I, that's what I love about this channel thank you guys from the bottom of my heart from liking these videos and subscribing to my channel because you know who wouldn't want to sit around and watch Goofy Jamie drink Diet Coke out her styrofoam cup and show hair care and skin care? But that's where it's at. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know if you'd like any other videos. I had someone ask if I could do this video, and I am more than happy to do all my faves. So those will be coming at you as well. I'll do a little episode two or three of some of my fave things. Most of my thing, fave things. All of my fave things. So we can chat and talk about what I like. Always remember, you are amazing. You are beautiful. You are loved. You are enough. And you are flipping phenomenal. Love you guys so stinking much. Mwah. <laughs>